Devarim, Deuteronomy 5. And Moshe called all Yashara'el and said unto them, Hear, O Yashara'el, at the commandments and at the judgments which I speak in your ears this day, that ye may learn them, guard them, and do them. Yahuwah Eloheinu, cut a covenant with us in Charev. Yahuwah, cut not at this covenant with our fathers, but at with us, even us, who are all of us here alive this day. Yahuwah talked with you face to face in the mount out of the midst of the fire. I stood between Yahuwah and you at that time to show you at the word of Yahuwah. For ye were afraid by reason of the fire and went not up into the mount, saying, I am Yahuwah Eloheka, which brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim from the house of bondage. You shall have no other Elohim before me. You shall not make you any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters beneath the earth. You shall not bow down yourself unto them nor serve them. For I, Yahuwah, Eloheka, am a jealous El, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and guard my commandments. You shall not take at the name of Yahuwah, Eloheka, in vain. At, for Yahuwah will not hold him guiltless that takes at his name in vain. Guard at the day of the Holy Shabbat, as Yahuwah, Eloheka, has commanded you. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is the Shabbat of Yahuwah Eloheka. In it you shall not do any work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your manservant, nor your maidservant, nor your ox, nor your ass, nor any of your cattle, nor your stranger that is within your gates that your manservant and your maidservant may rest as well as you. And remember that you were a servant in the land of Mitzrayim, and that Yahuwah Eloheka brought you out thence through a mighty hand and by a stretched out arm. Therefore Yahuwah Eloheka commanded you to observe at the day of Shabbat. Honor at your father and your at mother, as Yahuwah Eloheka has commanded you, that your days may be prolonged and that it may go well with you in the land which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you. You shall not kill Neither shall you break wedlock, neither shall you steal, neither shall you bear false witness against your neighbor, neither shall you desire your neighbor's woman, neither shall you covet your neighbor's house, his field, or his manservant, or his maidservant, his ox, or his ass or anything that is your neighbor's. 
at these words, Yahuwah, spoke unto all your assembly in the mount, out of the midst of the fire, of the cloud, and of the thick darkness, with a great voice. And he added, no more. And he wrote them on two sapphire stones and delivered them unto me. And it came to pass when ye heard at the voice out of the midst of the darkness, for the mountain did burn with fire, that ye came near unto me, even all the heads of your tribes and your elders. And ye said, Behold, Yahuwah Eloheinu has showed us at his glory and at his greatness, and we have heard at his voice out of the midst of the fire. We have seen this day that Elohim talks at with man, and he lives. Now, therefore, why should we die? For this great fire will consume us if we hear at the voice of Yahuwah, Eloheinu, any more. Then we shall die. For who is there of all flesh that has heard the voice of the living Elohim speaking out of the midst of the fire as we have and lived? Go near and hear at all that Yahuwah Eloheinu shall say, and speak you unto us at all that Yahuwah Eloheinu shall speak unto you, and we will hear it and do it. And Yahuwah heard at the voice of your words when ye spoke unto me. And Yahuwah said unto me, I have heard at the voice of the words of this people which they have spoken unto you. They have well said all that they have spoken. Oh, that there was such a heart in them that they would fear me and guard at all my commandments always, that it might be well with them and with their children forever. Go, say to them, get you into your tents again. But as for you, stand here by me, and I will speak unto you at all all the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which you shall teach them that they may do them in the land which I give them to possess it. Ye shall guard to do, therefore, as Yahuwah, Elohechem, has commanded you. Ye shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left, Ye shall walk in all the ways which Yahuwah Elohechem has commanded you, that ye may live, and that it may be well with you, and that ye may prolong your days in the land which ye shall possess. 